Hello friends, welcome to Bid Learning Club. So in this tutorial, I will show you how can you extract the average rating on any movie or web series. So how can you do that? Let's see. So I just start the script at first and then I will tell you how can you do that. So here the movie name is the La Casa de Papel or the Money Highest released year 2017 and the release day is 20th of month December. And the average rating is 8.2. Total number of votes is this. So you can use this data to make any website, to make any application like IMDb. So yes, it's uh, up to you. How can you use this data? So I will show you how can you extract this data. And in another video, I will make a website uh, with this data. So yes, I will do this in another video. But uh, at first, just check the La Casa de Papel, that means the money highest, the average rating 8.2, it is correct or not. So, yeah, so money highest and average rating is 8.2, it's absolutely correct. So, let's start. How can we do that? So, at first, just create a new file. The name is rating.py. So here I use the API. So at first just go to the Google and just go to the rapid API and search for the movies database. I will put this link in the description box. Don't worry about that. And just log in uh, with uh, here and after login you can see here this is your API key. Yeah, it is needed. So this API key it's important and this uh, url is important and this host is important so this api key uh, is very person to person so use your api key don't use my api key okay so use your api key so now go to the code editor and here just first import requests r e q u e s t requests and now here just type the url uh, just create a variable name url so url equal to what url is the movies database url so i just copy from here so this is the url actually and now copy it and now paste it here so don't worry about the code i will put the whole code in the description box don't worry just and i will make sure that you would understand the whole code so here url it is a variable and this is the http movies database dot p dot rapid api dot com titles and this and imdb id uh, this url will extract the rating okay so imdb id i have to, this is a variable actually here i use the f string so imdb underscore id equal so here you have to put the imdb id of the movies or the season uh, series whatever you want movies or series so yes it is a variable imdb id and now what is the imdb id i will show you just go to google and just uh, right click and new window and now here just type imdb imdb yeah i just click on this so this is the money heist and you can see in the url tt6468322 this is the imdb id okay so you have to put this here just copy this and paste it here and this is the imdb id and after url just uh, type h e a d headers just i copy from here don't worry i will explain you so copy from here so this is the header actually so headers it is a variable and it store the x rapid api key equal api key so i have to import the api key so here i just already make a python file api key dot py in the python file i make a this type of variable like api key underscore api underscore key and inside this variable i store my api key value so i have to import that so from api key api key input api key this is the variable i already have created inside api key so 
I just import this variable and this variable store the value of my API key in the movies database. Okay, so don't share your API key. And now headers equal x rapid API key equal API key and rapid API host is movies database dot p dot rapid API dot com. I will put the this code in the uh, description box. Don't worry about that. So you have to pass the header also. So after that, you have to create the response. So I just uh, create a variable name response. Response response equal to what? Response equal to request. R E Q U E S T S request. I already have imported request. Request dot get and pass the URL. So yeah, URL I already passed. And now headers headers equal you have to just pass the this headers variable so now it is the header and it is the url okay so now after that i store this value into a json file so result lt so results equal response dot json response dot json okay so now print this result so just what happened let's see okay you can see the result tt this this is the imdb id of the money heist and the average rating is 8.2 and number of votes is this so i can extract this value so okay so now, uh, now I want to extract the titles and the more things of these movies or the series. So now I have to pass the another URL. So URL underscore TITL uh, title. So URL title. So here I also use the a string and because I use the IMDB ID variable. So here just copy this. Uh, URL and copy here, paste it here. So just remove the ratings. And now here, just remove the titles. Not uh, remove the titles. Uh, just uh, let it done because I want to grab the title of these. So now do the same process here. Response. Create another variable. Race P O N S response underscore T I T L E title for grabbing the title and request request dot gate and after that you have to pass the url underscore title t i t l and headers headers is the same api key and the rapid api host okay so now result re is u l t s result underscore title this is a new variable and this variable store response title dot json okay so now print and now just comma and then just a result title okay so now save it and now just run it okay so response 200 yeah it's the correct response so where it is the wrong mm. response title jason okay this is not response title this is the result title this variable result okay so result title so result title and now result title and save it and just run it and wait for some times and now you can see the id average rating and number of votes okay so uh result title equal to response title dot json response title dot json here yeah. So where, what is wrong man? This is the result title. R E S 
results title and just just don't uh, don't uh, uh, any spelling mistake just do the right thing result title yeah this time it will okay so wait for a minute yeah this time it's work so result the id you can see the primary image and the image url so if i uh, right click uh, uh, control plus click on this image and open it so i can see the image okay so you can grab the image also and caption plain text mm, you can see the cast and crew and now title type text tv series and you can grab these all data text laka sade papal this is the name year released year and the day month year you can see all of this so how can you extract the json data so uh, let's uh, just i will see you so now after that just here print print and now movie name movie name and it is the uh, result title and inside the result title it is inside the results r e s u l t s results and inside the results sorry uh, inside the results where it has been printed i just comment it out at just run it again so i can see where it is so this is the result so inside the result so inside the result and where it is the movie name title type and yeah original uh, title text i just copy this original title text and now just put here original title text so original title text and inside the text this is the laka sade papal you can see it so here t e x text so just you can see so inside the results and then the original title text and inside the text you can see the laka sade papal so this is the movie name and now i i want to print the release year so print release release year so what is the release year you can also print that so now the result title result it is the same so just copy and paste it so inside the result you can see the release year where this is a release date you can see the release year just copy that and now inside the third bracket just print it released year so inside the released year so what is the key for the year so inside the release year this is the key er y e a r so copy that and paste it here so yeah so after that i just want to print the release day print re a l e release date that means this month is 12th and day is 2 uh, 20 so release date so release day is so before this i just have to make a variable so d a y day and day is basically nothing but just copy this results and paste it here so inside the result release date it is the key so copy this and paste here release date and inside the release date so here is is the day copy this and paste the key here and this is for the day just copy this and now create the month variable m o n t h month equal paste it and just change uh, this day to month so just m o n t h just type here m o n m o n t h this key and uh, release day now uh, use here if string and 
the release day is day of m o n t h month and here just type month variable and you can also do the year uh, but i have already print here release year so just you if you want to do then you can add the year also here so now i just want to print the main thing average rating on the movie so p r i n t print average rating on this movie o v v i e movie and here i want to use the movie name but just uh print here average rating it is the first result inside this result so inside this result average rating is the key so basically i have to type the result okay so what it is the result result title not result title this time this is the result not result title because this is the result and this is the result title so now result and inside the result this is the average rating sorry at first you have to put this result key and after that you have to copy this average rating and paste it here average rating okay so now here you can see the all of this thing this is the movie name actually i just copy this and here uh, a name in name is the variable movie name and this is the movie name and i use here if string and movie and a name in name is this so average rating on this movie and then i use the name and this average rating result so inside the result this is the first variable result so grab this variable and after this is the key and this is the key result and inside this key average rating is the key which will give you the 8.2 it is the average rating okay so in this way you can extract the json data so after that just i want to print one more thing the number of port print number of votes so how many people voting on that so just copy this result result and now and here you can see the key num votes so inside the result so you can see the key num votes so copy this and paste it here so yeah everything is fine so now just run it so you can see i i just remove these two things okay so at first and now delete it and run again and you can use this data to make any website or application whatever you want i will show you in another video how can you do that and i will make an website with python and django or without python and django normal using javascript html and css so you can do that so movie's name is lakasa de papal so i just want to do with another movie so here after the way of water so here it is the imdb id so i what is the imdb id tt1630 this this is the imdb id so copy that and and you can extract the imdb id if there is many way and now just run it so yeah you can see this is the way of water name after way of released year 2022 month you can see the date and month and the after way of water average rating 7.7 number of ports this so yeah that's it for this video i hope this video is very useful to you and you can make website with this data with this api so thank you for watching this video and don't forget to